Hey there, folks. This is a noteworthy update from the heart of Singapore's fiscal landscape. So, let's dive right in. Starting March this year, the Singaporean government has stepped forward with a commendable move, set to refund around 7.5 million Singapore dollars to taxpayers who were erroneously charged goods and services tax, GST. Now, that's quite the corrective measure. On February 14, the Ministry of Finance, MOF, shed light on a rather surprising revelation. Over the span of five years, a total of 18 fees, spanning across six different agencies, were erroneously slapped with GST charges. It's quite the revelation, isn't it? These fees weren't just random charges, they were spread across a spectrum, affecting both individuals and businesses alike. Now, let's break it down a bit further. The six agencies found to be involved in this mix-up are the Housing and Development Board, HDB, Land Transport Authority, LTA, Urban Redevelopment Authority, URA, Singapore Food Agency, SFA, Office of the Public Guardian, OPG, and the Council for Estate Agencies, CEA. Quite a roster, huh? So, where did the mix-up occur? Well, according to the Ministry of Finance, the crux of the issue lay in the misclassification of these fees. Initially considered processing fees, they were actually regulatory in nature, hence the erroneous application of GST. It's crucial to distinguish between what constitutes a taxable service and what falls under regulatory purview, and this misclassification led to the hiccup. Now, let's talk numbers. Over the past five years, the total amount of incorrectly charged GST tallies up to approximately 1.5 million Singapore dollars annually. That's quite a sum. But fret not, my friends, for the government is not only acknowledging the oversight but also swiftly taking action to rectify it. The affected agencies, along with the Ministry of Finance, have not only ceased charging GST on the affected fees as of February 14 but are also set to initiate the refund process come March. Affected taxpayers need not worry. The agencies are committed to reaching out and ensuring that everyone who was incorrectly charged receives their refund promptly, with interest, I might add. And for those who might slip through the cracks, fret not. The agencies will be diligently processing refunds based on available records, with an open invitation for affected taxpayers to reach out should they require assistance. But here's the kicker. To prevent a repeat of this mishap, the Ministry of Finance is taking proactive steps. They'll be amending the GST Act to provide clarity on the treatment of GST for such fees. Additionally, they're set to compile a comprehensive list of regulatory fees where GST should not be charged. Now, that's what I call learning from past mistakes. So, there you have it, folks. A tale of oversight, acknowledgement, and swift action from the Singaporean government. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. What are your thoughts on this refund initiative? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more engaging updates like this. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and stay awesome.